When the market is low, you guys know that I am always looking to buy up so that I can be buying low and selling high. And in this video, I want to focus your attention over to Cardano because I am actually very, very excited for this market right here. I've been watching it for a long time and I'm absolutely very, very certain uh, that this is one of the key coins that are going to be blowing up uh, if the market returns to a bull market right now. I'm not 100% on anything. Obviously, all technical analysis is nuanced, but there's a lot going on on this chart that I want to break down for you guys. And I'm looking at a potential, yeah, I mean, just straight up $3 target. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. And that's like a three times gain from right here. So uh, I'm really, really excited for that. And the other thing to keep in mind is that when Cardano starts ripping, it rips up really, really quickly, right? Look at this right here. I mean, we're talking about relatively short spaces of time. Uh, but bam, look at this. My God, four days up by 62% on this occasion right here, 11 days and it bloody doubled, right? Again, when it rips, look at this right here, 15 days, it nearly triples. When Cardano rips, it goes really, really hard. And it's worth paying attention to this right now. So here's the thing is that Cardano and there's quite a lot to go through. So stick around um, on this video. But Cardano on this chart is actually in a very, very nice pattern right now, which it's been in before, which looks a little bit like this, right, where it's trading in a falling wedge pattern, potentially teasing a bullish breakout. And we're in a pattern very similar to that right now. If I draw this for you, it looks something a little bit like this, where Cardano has again kind of been coiling up, potentially getting ready for a breakout. And this alone is really, really nice to see, right? It's nice to see that the market is kind of slowly moving down, the range is narrowing, that's how we get these bullish breakouts. But what makes this even more interesting, in my opinion, is the simple fact that Cardano is forming this while it's at a critical support level, right? This support level pretty much starts at about $1.01 one right here and stretches up to about $1.20, which is more or less where we are right now. Um, and the thing to keep in mind right here is that this is such a critical level for Cardano. You know, the flip side to this video, which I also have to talk about because you guys know that I am realistic. I don't like saying it, but I have to, is that, yeah, if Cardano starts to drop from here, it is absolutely just disgusting it's 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 gonna it's gonna be fucked like there's no other way to put it this market will be dead in my opinion because below this area of support there was no uh you know th there are no areas of support for Cardano to find and you guys know this right if you've read any technical analysis books or if you're just at least 50% rational when you're trying to analyze the markets, you're going to know that if we lose an area of support, we have to fall down to the next area of support. And the problem with this chart is that there is no next area of support from what I'm seeing. You see, when a market rips up as quickly as Cardano did right here, it's not actually setting any resistance levels. And if it's not setting resistance levels, that means there's nowhere for the market to fall down to if it starts crashing. This is the key reason that coins like Cardano drop so hard, right? If you look at the rally that Cardano had going up to $3, for, you know, from the $1 level where it bounced up from, which is pretty much where we are right now, up to the $3 level, there wasn't any real resistance, right? I mean, there was this one rejection that we had right here. So we found support on it as we were coming back down. But for the most part, there just wasn't really anything that was happening on this chart to indicate that the market might be slowing down. And so on the way back down, we just grind all the way down. Now it happens slowly, right? The sell-offs are always slower, but it still is very much the same point that the market really just doesn't have any hope of recovering if it's in that kind of state. Now, look, I don't want to focus on that too much, but it is one of the key facts about this market. And if I didn't cover it, and if you didn't pay attention to it, we both wouldn't be doing our jobs. This is what this YouTube channel is all about, ladies and gents. I'm all about telling you what is happening exactly like it is from my perspective. You know, I'm not going to sugarcoat things and I'm not going to tell you that we're all being rich and all of this kind of stuff. It doesn't matter to me. I'm a trader and that means I must be brutally, brutally honest with myself. And of course, with you guys, that's what I'm bringing onto this YouTube channel. So if you appreciate that just do me a favor and smash up the likes as you're in this video subscribe to this channel if you're new around here and of course if you want to see how this analysis translates into real world trading you can watch me trading these markets in real time where i tell you exactly what i'm doing what i'm planning down to the dollar where i'll be entering and exiting positions just by following these three uh 
steps on screen, just click on the red boxes. Uh, the first red box will take you to this one. Click on this screen, uh, click on this at four flies button and then send message to ask me how to join four flies VIP. But let's bring it back to the video here because this is a, again, like I said, a very, very good pattern to be seeing in the market. We've already broken out of it and we're back down to the same level again right now. So to me, this makes it very, very significant, right? It's just, you know, what I look for and you guys hear me talking about this a lot is confluence i want to see that multiple different unrelated indicators and tools are showing me that the same thing should happen and that is what i'm seeing right here with these basic chart patterns and analysis is that this basic chart pattern of a falling wedge is almost always inherently quite bullish and there's so many examples of how this works out right i mean there's so many ways you can draw this but you could say that this was another one and bam it broke out this was definitely another one and it broke out although the breakout wasn't very strong because you would have expected to set brand new highs and gone significantly higher but again it's completely fine there's so many different variations of this pattern. Uh, but again, just seeing that it lines up with that same crucial $1 level, you know, like I said, th this level is, is really important for Cardano. I mean, if it drops it, it's, it's screwed. Like it's absolutely going to be dead. There is no support unless it drops by like a further 60%, which would be absolutely hideous, right? Look at this huge, huge drop to come for Cardano if, if that actually happens. But people know that. People know that, and you know, the fact that it's the the one dollar support level, there's a little bit of you know psychological support to be found around there as well. And so you know, from my perspective, that definitely indicates that this level is going to be defended at least a fair bit. I mean, we saw this last time, right? I mean, earlier in 2021, when the market first managed to break above one dollar. I don't know if it was the first time, but no, it wasn't the first time that the market broke above one dollar. But uh, you know, I mean, it was the first time in like three years. Um, you know, the market tested the level constantly, and you know, I mean, it, it tried to push back below on on the first instance that did actually work, and the market managed to fall all the way down to what was this eighty cents. But then afterwards, every single time we tried with this, you know, with a few small exceptions, but I'm not going to count these, the market consistently got bounces up off the $1 level. It really, really defended this level very strongly. And what was this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven separate key instances of support being found at the $1 level. And so far, we've only tested it once. We are at resistance right now. The whole market is potentially starting to reach some, some levels of being overextended. Let's see the fear and greed index. Are we pushing up a little bit not really not really we are still in extreme fear so people generally still pretty scared but at the very same time uh you know we are in a little bit of a reaction rally right now and of course the question is um you know is this a reaction rally for bitcoin before we start trending down again or is this actually a key reversal and we're going to keep on moving up you know we don't really know that but that is obviously going to have the answer to that question there's going to have quite a large bearing on what happens to markets like cardano cardano pardon me but again, end of the day, looking at where this is, it still looks very, very strong in terms of its position of where you might be able to expect support to reasonably be found. Uh, you know, the other thing that I want to throw onto your radar right here is, is actually what's happening to Cardano against Bitcoin, because you guys know the deal here, right? I mean, I'm only interested in accumulating more Bitcoin. I'm a Bitcoin maxi. That's just how I am. Uh, and so I'm only interested in seeing, you know, how can I how can I earn more Bitcoin? How can I make more Bitcoin? And one of the key ways you can do that is trading altcoins, right? So I don't have any problem trading altcoins. You guys have heard me trading, um, you know, VPAD, which has done very, very well, and Casta, which is now at $1 as well. Check them out with the links in the description. I'm trading these coins. I'm investing in these coins, not only because I like the projects, but more, much more importantly, way more important than any affinity I have for any project is that I want it to make me more Bitcoin. And that's what I'm seeing right here, even for Cardano, is that this coin has lost so much value against Bitcoin. If we compare this against Bitcoin from the high that it's set to its current Bitcoin price, it's halved in value against Bitcoin. That meant if you held one Bitcoin worth of Cardano up here, now you would be holding half a Bitcoin worth of Cardano, or actually a little bit less than half. Huge, huge drop right there. But of course, again, I got to remind you guys, you buy when the market is low, right? You don't buy when the market is high. You buy when it's low. You buy when there's blood in the streets. You buy on the red days and then you sell on the green days. And what we're seeing right here is, I think, quite a nice potential rounding pattern for the market. Now, let me show this to you on a different chart where I haven't actually drawn anything and what I want to focus your attention on is this pattern right here where Cardano sets quite a big, uh, you know, high, quite a serious high in the market at, you know, the 3000 Satoshi level. If you guys don't know what a Satoshi is, just look at the bar uh, over here. The I'm sorry, the Y axis over here, uh, the lowest denomination of Bitcoin, which is 0. 
and then eight zeros uh, and a one at the very end, so seven zeros and a one at the end, that's one Satoshi. So this means 2,946 Satoshis. It's just, it's just a denomination of Bitcoin. When it reached 3,000 Satoshis and dropped all the way down to 1.7, um, it actually ended up forming what's called a rounded bottom shape, or you know people call this like a cup and then a handle, and then we get a breakout. And I think that Cardano is doing that again right now. Um, you know, It really looks like it. It's a very common rounding pattern for a bottom where you very quickly move up and then you slowly move down and you slowly start curving back up. Up. And then, you know, when you reach those highs, you kind of consolidate, you form the handle and then bam, you get the breakout to the sky. And the reason, and it's very important to understand these patterns, right? It's one thing for me to tell you these patterns. It's one thing for you to read this stuff in a book or learn it in a course, but it's another to actually understand how these patterns work. That is one of the key things that I aim to get across inside of the Four Flies Academy courses, which most people who join VIP depending on their plans are going to get for free. Uh, meaning when you follow these steps on screen, you can learn all about this stuff, the way I teach it, the way I analyze and trade the market because I don't believe in just telling you exactly what's happening and, and what these patterns are but you need to really understand them so that you have a, a good like you, you know you have a very intimate uh, understanding of the markets because it's only when you have that that you can actually trade well and so the reason and, and what makes these patterns significant is that essentially what we're having here is the supply constantly being exhausted, being exhausted, being exhausted. And then as we get to the bottom, which we're potentially at right now, I'm not saying we are, but we're potentially there right now. You can tell that that supply has gotten exhausted because the selling pressure has gotten weaker, right? If we take a look, if I just draw a couple lines to show you the kind of selling pressure that this market was experiencing previously, it's pretty clear to see what's happening here, right? We're just gradually losing momentum when we're moving to the downside. If I just move all of these lines side by side, you can see that the sell-off gets less and less extreme. If I just make all of these lines the same length, the only thing I'm really interested in here is looking at the gradient with which the market is dropping. And I can't even do it for this line uh, because it's not steep enough. But you can get a pretty real idea here just looking at these four lines of how the market has gradually kind of slowed down. Whereas the selling pressure at first was painting a very harsh drop. That drop got less and less and less harsh as time goes on, indicating that the key selling was happening right here. And you can see that with the volume too. It's not just me making this up and pulling this information out of my fucking ass. I think this, this is real stuff. This is actually there on the chart. Um, and, and this potentially indicating that, yeah, I mean, at first the sell-off was very, very intense. A lot of sellers were in the market and they're gradually being washed out and that supply is being exhausted until eventually you just straight up start trading sideways because nobody's interested in the markets anymore. And that is generally where the best buy opportunity happen. Now that's not to say that we're not consolidating before another drop down again. I mean, this can absolutely 100% still happen. And again, that's why my job here as an actual trader and an actual analyst is to tell you what both sides look like. Analysis and trading, a lot of people don't get this, is about balancing probabilities, right? I'm not here to tell you what I think is going to happen and and rub my crystal ball and give you some crazy price predictions, right? And by the way, Dubai is is just so disgusting right now. It's it's so cloudy. Uh, it's it's actually quite miserable. I woke up feeling terrible and I didn't even know why. Uh, and and then I remembered, oh right, it, it looks like London outside right now. <laughs> but um, you know, the thing that we need to understand in these markets is that uh, you know, no matter which side you want to trade, no matter which side you want to be on, you must explore both opportunities. You must explore explore both ends of both sides of the same coin uh because you know it, both both things are possible like any anything is possible in these markets and you need to be able to explore those probabilities so that you're adequately prepared for them so that they don't take you by surprise so that you can trade them and make money from them and yeah a lot of people miss out on that but absolutely this could definitely be a bearish continuation pattern before cardano loses even more value against bitcoin and that is obviously very, very concerning, right? It's the very same thing with Cardano against the dollar. If we take a look at Cardano against the dollar right now, it is unfortunately just in a downtrend and it's formed a lot of continuation patterns to indicate that this downtrend is continuing, right? If I show you another chart right here, which is pretty much the same thing, uh, this is just using Binance US, uh, you know, we've got, you know, the downtrend happening here, forming a bear flag, breaking down, forming a rising wedge, breaking down, forming a small rising wedge, breaking down, another small rising wedge, breaking down, another small wedge, breaking down, and another rising wedge. 
before potentially breaking down. You see what I mean? Like these things repeat all the time. Um, and, and the only thing that we need to do as, as traders and analysts is to be able to spot like, okay, we, we are in a bearish pattern, right? I mean, dropping down, recovering back up the way we did, this is a typical rising wedge pattern. This is inherently a bearish pattern. However, are we forming this bearish pattern at a major area of support? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, well then the probability of sweeping this low is not very high, right? The probability of sweeping the low is actually quite low. It's more likely that this breaks down and we rocket ship back up, just like we did previously where we formed these very same patterns and we found support at the very same level constantly, not a little bit, constantly. And that tells us a lot about where the market may indeed actually be. So we move it back to this Bitcoin chart right here we talk about this rounding bottom. This is happening while the Cardano uh, dollar chart is at a critical, critical level of support. Bitcoin has been at a critical level of support, right? To me, it is, you know, one of those formulas where, look, put it this way, the thing could drop down even more, but it doesn't really matter right now. It's just so low and it's just looking so good that put it this way, if I had the same opportunity to trade this 10 times, let's say I think eight of those times I would be right. If that's the case, I'm happy to still make that move. Now, I'm not saying that's what's happening here, right? That's the kind of thing that I only share inside of VIP and I haven't actually made a decision on what I'm gonna do with Cardano yet, but I'm putting this on your radar right now. When I do actually decide to trade Cardano and with every single other trade that I make in any market, it all goes straight inside of Four Flies VIP. So again, you can follow these three quick steps to get your information on it by clicking on the first link in the description down below then the at four flies button at the bottom of any post inside of four flies gold and then send message to ask me how to join four flies vip and we'll give you all of that information right there by the way if you want to trade on the very same exchange that i'm using which you can also use of course to trade cardano uh, then bybit is the place to be you know if you already have uh, an exchange account and you're not so sure then the thing that you need to consider whether you use bybit or not is that you need backup accounts, you need the extra security of, you know, in case you know, one of your accounts are compromised or an exchange goes down or there's some withdrawal problem or any number of issues happen. If you face that problem and you haven't prepared for it, that can only be down to a lack of respect for your money. You absolutely must never, never, never keep all of your eggs in one basket. And that's why it's always worth having backup accounts and multiple exchanges and so on. And this one is a phenomenal choice in my experience. I've been using them for years. And when you sign up using my link in the description down below, you're gonna get up to $4,100 for free just by signing up and making your first Bitcoin deposit. So that's free cash, which you can trade with. Fuck it, you can buy Cardano with it, do whatever you like. Uh, and of course, if Cardano is moving the way I'm expecting it to, I would be expecting it to, again, outperform Bitcoin and rise back up to these highs, which would mean doubling what Bitcoin does. It would essentially gain double the value against Bitcoin. If I buy one Bitcoin worth of Cardano now, I would have two Bitcoins worth of Cardano up here. And of course, if Cardano <laughs> rises against the dollar as well, that would also be very, very exciting to say the least. And so, uh, you know, these all looking like great opportunities and you can, you know, if you want to buy it, I'm not telling you to do it, but if you want to buy it, you can do it with the free cash that you're going to get using my link in the description. Of course, depending on where you are, you may need to use a VPN to use Bybit. Everyone who I know does that, but of course I can't personally endorse that, uh, that kind of activity. Uh, God knows what you might do with a VPN. Honestly, hopefully it's nothing illegal. <laughs> And so moving it back to uh, the Cardano chart right here, this is something big that I wanted to highlight to you is that we are potentially getting this rounding pattern indicating that selling pressure kind of dissipating off in the market uh, before potentially yeah, kind of getting a slow recovery back up. And again, in terms of understanding the way these kind of things happen, you know, we start off slowly and then the excitement returns in the market. And of course, with a coin like this, because liquidity is so low, because the coin is actually still quite small, uh, any, every coin is still quite small, uh, even Bitcoin, um, you know, they, they, you know, I mean, when things get exciting, the markets are just so small that they just rocket ship up just really, really quick. It looks instant the way they gain value. And that's why, you know, it's always important to be watching these things before those events actually happen. So uh, there you go. That's what I'm seeing for Cardano. That's how it ties into Bitcoin right here and why I'm actually quite keen on it. 
Uh, I've been looking at Cardano for a long time. Uh, I've had a very mixed experience trading this coin. It slaps me in the face a lot, uh, but it cannot be doubted at all that this coin loves to run. And when it runs, it runs really, really fast, really, really strong. So to me, certainly a very, very exciting setup. And of course, uh, you know, when I do trade it, I will inform VIPs about it. Guys, just really quick, I want to bring this video to your attention, how to turn 1,000 into 1 million. If you don't already know how to trade and you want to learn absolutely everything that I know from scratch, but you don't want to pay for anything, type this into the YouTube search bar, how to trade four flies, uh, and you can watch my free video. It's a 50 minute, five zero minute video. It's very thorough. If you don't have the time to put in to learn how to trade for that and get the fuck off this channel, you're not serious. I don't want you here. Uh, but if you are serious about it and you're willing to set aside 50 minutes of your time to learn absolutely everything you need as a beginner, it's a very, very in-depth trading guide for these markets. It's right here and it's free. And honestly, honest to God, I don't have any patience for anyone who uh, is, is, is watching videos like this and wants to make more money, but doesn't want to put in that level of time. Uh, it's, it's 50 minutes because it has to be, not because it's long or drawn out. So definitely check it out. It is one of the more popular videos on this channel for a reason. Uh, and, and like I always say, it shouldn't be free. So uh, again, I mean, this, this is obviously, this whole channel is obviously only for people that are turned on to these ideas that don't need convincing to take uh, responsibility for their life and, uh, and, and, you know, people who actually want to learn something uh, and, and learn it in a safe, healthy, sustainable way in these markets, right? I mean, if you're just looking for those, um, you know, how do I get rich off NFT, you know, solutions and things like that, then obviously this channel isn't for you. But if you're serious about learning how to trade in a way which is, you know, pretty predictable, pretty straightforward, you can systemize it. It's, you know, it's not it's not like you're holding on to pipe dreams. Like it's very much in your control. If you want to be in control of it, of course, this is the kind of thing that I aim to teach because it's the only thing I like doing. I don't like waiting and depending on some shit project that I don't even care about to rise up where I'm only convincing myself that it's good because I'm personally invested in it. You guys know that that's not my style. So that's obviously what I'll keep on bringing to you guys on this channel. Uh, and again, by the way, free cash waiting for you. Just use that link in the description to sign up to Bybit and get your $4,100 for free. Uh, when you make your first Bitcoin deposit, it will take you less than 10 minutes. And if you do want to jump inside a VIP, these are the steps on screen. Click on the first link in the description down below, then click on the at four flights button and then click on send message to ask me how to join four flights VIP. And I'll send you all of that information straight away. This is a very, very quick process. I know it looks daunting for some people, but it is very straightforward. Uh, you'll, you'll be inside within like five minutes. And, and by the way, this first link takes you to my free telegram channel. But with that, I do have to go. If you've enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit up the likes, subscribe, tick the bell. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.